Hello, my name is Bernie. I'm the Swiss Power Platform Enthusiast, short SwipoV, and I'm showing you something really interesting today, how you can save email attachments from incoming emails into a shared mailbox uh, to a local folder. And not all of those attachments, but selected attachments like, for example, PDFs or Excel files, and anybody who has access to this shared mailbox can define rules which will trigger the flow so incoming emails can trigger the flow and those attachments will be saved to this folder. How exactly this works, I will show you now. I prepared an email. This is from my Bernd Kretschmer at Swipov account and I'm sending it now to info at Swipov, which is the shared mailbox and I want that the two PDFs will be saved to this folder which is on my PC. So let's start with sending the email. Now let's go to the inbox. It is so now it is inside this folder and let's head over to the flow which should be triggered in a few seconds. Now it got triggered take sometimes a bit time when you initially uh, change the rules or something. Now it's succeeded and let's head over to this SharePoint document library. As you can see now, magically those invoices already have been saved to this folder. And because I synchronized it with this button with my local PC, these two invoices will appear soon here in this folder. So there they are the two invoices now locally on my pc and everybody who has access to this document library can easily synchronize those documents to his pc and access those invoices locally very easy thing so let's start with developing this solution and we start with a outlook mailbox so this is our shared mailbox and what we have to do is create a folder Let's name this tutorial invoices. Here it is. And then you have to define a rule. So um, let's see, we just easily get into the rules. When we click on one email, then we have the possibility to select rules and we can create a rule. And now uh, it is like, uh, for example, you can of course go to advanced options and then you can say, okay, it shall be from certain email address like Bernd Kretschmer and maybe it should be something in the subject where it is, where is it, the subject. And let's say we have a specific word in the body. Now we can select a specific word like invoice, add it to the list, say, okay, so now all emails from Bernd Kretschmer with invoice in the body will move to invoices, will be moved to invoices folder, which will trigger, ah no, invoices is the old one. So we can select the other, the tutorial invoices folder. And these will be, turn on this rule, yes. Uh, run on the rule messages already in invoices. So um, we can do this. No, we won't do this. And let's say uh, invoices from band Kretschmer. And defining rules can literally do anybody who has access to this mailbox. Now head over, we're heading over to Power Automate. We'll create a new automated cloud flow. Flow name is tut save email attachment. And now search for shared. Then you get this action filtered when a new email arrives in a shared mailbox. Select it and press create. Now we are in the new Power Automate designer experience. And there is a mistake inside as, as uh, today, uh, the last day of the year 23. So we will immediately 
switch back to the new designer and I recommend if you don't have these settings view all my power automate settings and these features might change break or disappear at any time experimental features put them on on um, so as I had it because now you can see it is proposing this shared mailbox which is uh, shared with me with my user account so here I have uh, Bernd Kretschmer at Svipovi this is the account in this action and now we can do the advanced options it is uh, these things that don't matter as we define those things just by this folder we will select so let's go let's select the folder we need so it's two invoices this is the new folder only with attachments yes because we want to save the attachments and include atta attachments of course as well yes and now we're doing a new step which is get attachments so we want to get the attachments there we have the action the id of the email we get this out of this action of this trigger and which is just the message id so select the message id and now we have the attachment id oh attachment is with the e i always thought it's without an e oh here you see it's without there it is with an e okay maybe this is going to be better in the new one then we have the uh, attachment id and now he's doing a loop because every email can have several attachments which is quite correct in the new design experience i will show you this right now he did three times a loop which is wrong okay so now let's go here and original address of the mailbox which is quite important of course again it is our info at sweepovi and now we're getting the attachment. Then in the next step, we don't want all of those attachments be processed. We just want to process attachments of a certain type. Um, and so we are extracting the file type extension, the f file extension of the name. So let's enter add a compose action. Let's go to this formula editor, close this. And what we're doing now is we are splitting the name of the attachment. So the function for this is split. Then we have the name, name of the attachment. And this shall be splitted by a dot. So every time in this attachment in this name of the attachment is a dot it will be split it so we are having an array maybe there are several one several um, um, elements then inside and we just need the last one because the last one is always one uh, which we need which is the file extension so this is the syntax split with a dot and take the last one okay last one uh, so we rename this function now this compose action compose file extension so we can easily work with it and then of course we just need to save those attachments which are of the file type we want to save so we add a condition we choose our dynamic output it's equal to and now we say pdf and we can add a row and say or because this is case sensitive again we do output and we say pdf sometimes they are named big and then we want to save those files to the folder so this is quite easy so we select the sharepoint actions filter sharepoint and then we say file create create file create file okay now we are going into the searching the place where we want to save it and we go to shared documents and we select invoices so this is the folder where we want to save the attachments the name of the file this is a dynamic content which is yeah, which we can 
just filter name attachment name uh, so this is the one we select because it's from our second and it's get attachments content bytes that's it this should already work so let's save this let's see if it works we are going to open outlook and now we are forwarding one of those invoices again to info at Svipovi. let's delete this and we have invoices and invoices here so perfect send the email now it should appear there it is the rule is not working i don't know why so let's see why the rule is not working so invoices from bernd kretschmer which is should be right should be correct and with invoice in the body maybe it's case sensitive so let's run the rules now run rule now it's working so it should work somehow i don't know why it's not working right now now let's head over to our flow and it takes again a while until it triggers so let's wait now it's triggered and let's see what he did so when a new email arrives in folder tab tutorial invoices apply to each now he has five of those attachments so remember we had one excel file and two logo files so this is here so we just can see the extension so the first one is pdf next one is pdf and this one is the uh, excel file and then we have the pngs which are the logos and just for the ones where we have uh, this condition correct he's creating the file okay that's it um i don't know why the rule didn't work it should work so uh, try to define the rule <laughs> i know that it's normally working uh, but in the end this is a quite nice process and it can save a lot of work uh, for incoming emails or whatever so if you like my videos just subscribe to the channel and uh, i'm glad to see you soon here again